There has been an inn on this site since the late 15th century, but since 2002, well, everyone checked out. No more Christmas parties. No one to answer your call. The safe has remained empty. What to do with a Grade 1 historic building in the centre of Gloucester has been a long-term problem. But now the City Council, who own the site, are partnering with a development company more used to working on grand projects in and around Cheltenham. And the vision? A boutique hotel alongside a range of independent food and drink retailers. It's a multi-million pound project. It'll be done in phases. There's several funding resources we're looking at. We actually had a lot of inquiries, people saying they want to get involved. So there's a bit of work to do, but we know there won't be a shortage of funding. And obviously working with the council, they've got the same vision as we have. So um, it's a great partnership. Beneath the Fleece Hotel lies one of Gloucester's most historic sites. This is a 12th century undercroft and one of the finest examples of its type anywhere in Europe. But more famously for people in Gloucester, this was once the Monk's Retreat, a very, very popular bar in its day. And as part of this new redevelopment, the Monk's Retreat is going to reopen. With the Fleece derelict for so long, the project is very welcome, especially after more than a decade of millions being spent on regeneration projects outside of the city centre. Because it's been closed for such a long time, people forget just how big a site it is. And, and you're right, not enough of the regeneration that's taken place has been in the historic core of the, of the city centre and bringing this project forward can, can really help to redress that balance. There is, of course, a long way to go, but already ideas are being worked up, with Dowdwell hinting that there are some more surprises to come as they plan to awaken the long-dormant fleece. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Gloucester.